Although the future of the auto industry might look electric, many car makers are giving old technology a new twist. Tony has more on modern diesel engines in today's Behind the Wheel. Used to be starting a diesel engine was a pretty big deal, a lot of smoke, a lot of noise, but these days it's frankly a little disappointing. And by disappointing, I mean quiet, clean, and efficient. Diesel has been around for quite some time, so they're able to refine and really like fine tune driving characteristics, uh, consumption numbers, but also, yes, the sound that people definitely complained about. Where's my diesel grumble and growl? Oh, how things have changed, <laughs> that's for sure. This BMW X5 35D for diesel puts out 255 horsepower and gets a respectable 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. But there's one area where the modern diesel engine really shines. Big thing is torque. Uh, diesels are known for impressive torque numbers. And by torque, you mean? The torque is what throws you back in your seat. Horsepower is kind of what keeps you going. Oh, that torque. By the way, it's also what makes towing a boat or pulling a trailer feel effortless. I'm a big fan of power. I love it. Torque is what really gives that emotion of, of the sense of speed. And of course, like any new car, today's diesel engines are surrounded by all the modern conveniences we've come to know, love, and for better or for worse, depend on. <laughs> The cost of diesel fuel tends to be more stable than gasoline, and though it usually costs a bit more than regular, it usually costs a bit less than premium. It's going to have similar uh, maintenance intervals as a traditional gasoline car. So it seems modern technology has leveled the playing field when it comes to your new car's engine. One power plant doesn't have a clear advantage over another which makes it a great time to buy a car. We sell gas, we sell diesel, but then we have a lot of plug-in hybrids, and then we have a lot of um, full electric vehicles as well. Consumers only benefit, so it's a good time. I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon. You hated driving that car, didn't you? <laughs> you used to have a diesel and you loved it. I yeah. loved it. I miss it, in fact. It's funny, you know, like worldwide, diesel engines make up like 50% of cars sold in the U.S., 3%. Wow. You know, I it's still... never got over them being yeah. a part of a truck or a heavy equipment. You're right. Thing. Or that black smoke oh, coming yeah. out the back Those end is gone. how it used They're to be. They're super quiet. Yeah. And wow. in Oregon, you can pump it yourself if it's right. diesel. Right, yes. Good yeah. point. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Exactly. When I was a kid, we had an Oldsmobile diesel, and it was the old... <laughs> it, it would like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> smoke was just <laughs> That was part of the problem. Right. That's they why they're scared it out. of they it now. They fixed that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Yeah, that was known as the lemon, but we put over 100,000 miles on go. the thing. Yeah, yeah. Kept, kept going.